one shot and I'm holding But I don't care cause I'm golden Woke up Sunday morning with a song stuck in my head I'm seeing things right before me Used to own me, but that's all me And give it up was the best thing that they said What's up guys? I want to invite you to come along with me on this journey of training for new challenge. I just moved to sunny Solana Beach by San Diego, California, and decided to sign up for a triathlon and a international triathlon distance. So it's a thousand meter swim, which is about 40 lengths in a pool, a 20 mile bike, and a 10K run, which is about six miles. So I chose to sign up to a triathlon to get myself out of my comfort zone. I invited a few friends along for accountability, but more so I just wanted to mix things up. The excitement of setting out on a new challenge brings excitement, it's enticing. And the big key here is six weeks out. So I got six weeks to get myself ready to be able to run, bike, and swim. I haven't been swimming a whole lot and it's a lot different, uh, you know, especially in open water. Biking, it's something that comes naturally, but it's gonna definitely push me to get out of my comfort zone and I haven't been riding road bikes. And then running, you know, currently not in the best long or endurance running shape. So I wanna put my training to a test, you know, what I call, you know, lean performance, I guess you could say and see if it helps me transition into a big challenge, something like a triathlon. And uh, I'm excited for what's to come. So what I'm gonna do in these series of videos is just show my training, kind of the before and after, uh, how my diet is. My goal is to be more fat adapted, uh, burn a lot of fat throughout my training, only add carbohydrates in when I need it. But I'm also going to try to keep on as much muscle as possible. A lot of people think that if you're training for endurance, you're not gonna be able to hold on to muscle. So I wanna show people that this is gonna be a good change for the body that it will adapt to. I will be documenting before and after as far as weight, body fat percentage, and I challenge you to pick something that's in a similar time frame. Come along with me on the journey. You know, post in the comments, have you done a triathlon? Is there a challenge that you have that you could just sign up for? You know, I recently read Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, who's done a bunch of ultra uh, endurance races for 50, 100 plus miles, a Navy SEAL, really cool guy, it's got a great story. And you know, it was another reminder that we need to get outside of our comfort zone, that's where growth is, that's where we come alive the most. Plus, being able to track this gives us an opportunity uh, to track progress and celebrate those wins. You can celebrate them with some friends of yours or some people for accountability. But I'm excited, so I got a to-do list, learn how to swim, I'm gonna try to join some different clubs, um, get some pointers, and put together a plan. Most plans are usually 12 weeks out, so I might be cutting that in half. I need to get some gear. Uh, and then right now, working with what I have, my current bike is just a hybrid bike. So I'm gonna look into either renting or purchasing, probably purchasing a uh, I use road bike to be able to use and get some miles. And right now I'm gonna start out with two runs, two bikes, two swims per week for these next six weeks. So you can come along. And then I'll also be showing the different food that I eat, kind of habits and rituals. And we'll have a lot of fun on this journey. Now you have something on the schedule and it creates this form of urgency which there's an excitement, kind of a dopamine rush that we get to look forward to training for. And it's a good way to break it up. If you've just been going to the gym and doing the same thing over and over again, through this training, you can give yourself a plan or follow the plan that I'm gonna do, and it will give you something to do in your training, and that's just different. Different is fun, we can measure that progress. Those wins are gonna help create momentum and spill over into other areas of your life. So find something to commit to, create some urgency. I have never done uh, an international or Olympic level triathlon. I've done some sprints. Most of my workouts are usually 30 minutes to 45 minutes, so it's gonna be a little bit different. I think that I have the ability to be able to train and hopefully ramp up to it, but I'm gonna respect the process. I know all these different things are humbling, especially swimming. So 
Uh, this is gonna be new for me. It's gonna, you know, I don't like the form of cardio, so at least this is a way of training for something and having some purpose rather than just uh, getting on and watching the clock while you sweat. So the training is gonna be fun. I'm going to kind of shift my training into more of an endurance style hybrid with uh, maybe higher repetitions and making sure that I'm going over a lot of mobility to prevent my body from breaking down and make sure I have the proper movement patterns and getting some help and guidance along the way. Workout one, wish me luck. We got a 500 meters. We're gonna do 10 rounds of 50 meters with about 20 second rest. Uh, we'll see how we do. So swimming in a pool, overall pretty easy. Open water swim for my sprint. It's craziness. I feel like you're gonna drown, you're freaking out, and you go to doggy pad. So you're gonna have to practice out there. Swim workout one down out of six weeks. Uh, I did a little bit extra, it felt easy. I kind of liked how relaxing it was just having a game plan to follow. Uh, swimming 50 meters, resting 20 seconds. So it wasn't that challenging, uh, although things are gonna get a lot more challenging since I'm gonna probably cut this plan in half since it's designed for 12 weeks. And I need to get into some open water swim to prepare for the real deal. All right, we're kind of number two, hitting that assault bike. Get that endurance built up. We're doing intervals, 15 cals. Five sets in between, we're gonna do a chest pressing exercise with a core exercise. Uh, this baby's brutal. There's so many cool tools and resources, for instance. Um, I mean, even the Apple Watch can track, you know, my miles that I'm running. It shows the map that I'm doing at the elevation, and same thing with the biking. So it's gonna be fun to watch my progress and break it up as I go on. In the next video, I'm gonna be focusing in on my nutrition, going over the amount of calories and macronutrients that I'll be doing. I'll invite you in my kitchen and show you some of my you know, go-to foods, things that I'll be stocking up on as far as like broth and mineral-based foods, fixing those deficiencies, uh, potential supplementation, and some of my tasty treats to make this whole process enjoyable. The la la hits your lyrics, just split your head so hard that your hat can't fit you. Either I'm with you or against you. Format bench you. Back.